Hey guys, this is the Tuninator bringing you another Fallout New Vegas video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get Mercy, which is the unique grenade machine gun that fires 40mm rounds as opposed to 25mm rounds. And I'll show you how to find and fight the legendary Deathclaw, which is, not so coincidentally, pretty much standing right on top of Mercy, making your life difficult if you want to get it. So anyways, the location we're looking at here is Deadwind Cavern, which is full of Deathclaws. You can get to it by going east from Novak and then just kind of going north when the road starts heading north but just leave the road and keep going. Caravan I don't know if you can see it down there but it's a general area. And now you're just going to go up in here as you can see that I already have to fight three or four death claws to get in here so a couple other notes before you go in. Some things you're going to want for this you're going to want a ton of stim packs. You're going to want a lot of turbo. I gave myself like a, an artificially high number for this video just for demonstration purposes but Turbo will make the fight with the legendary Deathclaw far easier for you. Can't stress that enough. So, I recommend hotkey both of them. You do that if you don't know by holding down a number, like say four. So I hold down four. You see the slots will be highlighted. If I hold down three different slots highlighted, and then you just click it to assign it there. So a three, assign it back to six, and there you go. And that lets you just hit that number key to use the item, which is very helpful for stim packs and turbo. So we're going to go inside, and don't go here unless you're high level or you really know what you're doing, because this area is full of death claws, full of very nasty things, and oh god, there's like four right at the entrance. I've never seen this happen. And yeah, this is going to be interesting. I've been had some decent luck with Crit, and I've been trying to shoot this for like an hour, and Fraps keeps showing it on me, so... I've killed with death Deathclaw about three times so far, but I've never seen three at the entrance like that. That's kind of insane. So anyways, yeah, just so you know where we are, we, uh, sorry, that really threw me off, let me try and get my bearings, this should be the entrance, yep, this is the entrance, so we go right in here, you can go down this way, or through this way, they should both take you to the same area, so, we'll go through here, down this path, you can see there's a path back to the entrance, down here, and then there's a path both here on the right, and then up here on the left, we want to go to the left. And what Turbo does, in case you uh, you saw what was happening there, is it kind of puts you in like a bullet time mode, which is great for fighting death claws because it lets you hit them far faster than they can hit you and avoid most of their attacks. And Turbo is a very steep addiction penalty and a very low duration, so I'd be prepared to have to pay for a doctor to fix you, but it's worth it and it's far better than dying horribly to death claws over and over. So pardon me while I get my bearings. It's right, so I'm going down here. And then the Mercy is in a cavern right up here with two Deathclaws and a legendary Deathclaw. Just bait this young Deathclaw out. Yeah, Deathclaws aren't that dangerous, but they're still tough for an enemy that size. So there's a little duffel bag here. Got some C4, some ammo, uh, variable stuff. I haven't seen a pulse mine in here before, but God only knows what this person was doing here, even how they even got that far into the cave. Uh, and looks like Cash just aggroed up with your Deathclaws through there, so I'm going to fight them really quick. If they're coming, let's see. Up some hurt. Sorry for the delay. She does love to pick fights. You want me to just take this guy out? Or she might do it herself. I don't know. Quick note, Cass's normal shotgun sucks, but if you give her a cowboy repeater, she's actually quite effective. Oh god, that's death claw. That's a stronger death claw, but... Yeah, give Cass a cowboy repeater. Don't give her her normal weapon. It's not that good. And, uh... You can get ammo for that. The best place is NCR Quartermaster Brandon and Hoover Dam offices, but, uh... Make it, make it rouse also work well. I'll try to make a video for that later. So anyways, before this fight, you want to just drug the hell out of yourself. You want to use the, uh, anything you can to increase your damage resistance. You know, Psycho for damage boost. That extra damage resistance, I'll do the Nuka-Cola Quartz, you know. Just because, uh, you can try sneaking around too. It may not necessarily work, but, uh, so we're gonna go in. The Legendary Deathclaw, the fight is very unpredictable depending on how much you crit him. For example, the first time I fought him for this video, it took me like 30 seconds to beat him. Subsequent tries, he died uh, in like 5 seconds because I just critted him all the time. But, oh, god, uh, that's it. So yeah, one other thing I want to stress is against death claws, heal constantly. I always underestimate uh, how much damage I'm taking and then they kill me for it. And, uh, there's still two of them alive here. This is very bad. Alright, so now I'm going to try and 1v1 the legendary Deathclaw. He has this attack where he knocked... Yeah, so that wasn't too hard because I created him. But, yeah, that... So, as you can see, this fight's pretty crazy. You want turbo, uh... 
as you saw, it's just because it makes it so much easier. If you fight him straight up, he'll almost kill you in like one or two hits. So anyways, you're going to go through here, you're going to look right on the left, that's her mercies, it's with this dead Brotherhood corpse. This also has Brotherhood T45D power armor, it's just a place to get it if you want it. Uh, you can't really find Brotherhood people wearing T45D normally in the game, so that's useful. So I'll just demonstrate it for you real quick, and then end the video. So we're just going to kind of shoot this off. And I almost killed myself there, so you can see how strong that is. But anyways, so yeah, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. That's a legendary Deathclaw. Do not underestimate him. He's very powerful. Make sure you have turbo. Make sure you have lots of uh, buffs or you will die horribly. So thanks for watching. Any comments, questions, anything like that, be glad to help you. Just ask me, this is the Tuninator, and I'll see you all later.